Good afternoon, my peepers. Welcome to Shaleen's Creativity Room. It is Friday, April 26th. What's going on today? Um, yeah. What is going on today? Not much. I was going to go to my parents, but I've been dealing with an earache and a headache right here for a couple days. And sometimes they make me nauseous. So I'm like, I'm not going to my mom and dad's. So I messaged my mom, is everything okay? And she said, yep. So I told her, and she goes, both my kids are sick. So my brother-in-law has COVID and my sister can't smell or taste anything. So I'm pretty sure she has it too. Yes, I'm drinking regular Dr. Pepper. I went in the cooler. I had to go to the grocery store because I'm all out of chamomile tea. And so they have the coolers in the front, you know, the little coolers with the pops. I always grab a Diet Dr. Pepper. They didn't have any of the diet in there. What the hell, people? So... I ended up getting a regular Dr. Pepper. I'm probably going to pay for it later. Anyways, let's get started here. Let's get started. So today we have a birthday. It is Michelle Glitter Angel. She comes into our Zooms. So happy birthday, Michelle. Um, I got some changes going on with stitching. I will tell you about that. I think it's going to work out much better. Right now it's 57, feels like 54. It's supposed to be a high of 62 with a low of 45 tonight. And it says plentiful sunshine, and that it is. Winds east at 10 to 15 miles per hour, humidity 27%, sunset 8.07 p.m. Yeah, it is nice out there. People are out mowing the lawn. The golf course was busy. Okay, today's National Day. <clears throat> National Pretzel Day. I love pretzels. They are salty. They are crunchy. Yeah, I just, I love pretzels. They're my go-to. Um, my favorite snack is Doritos, but for some reason, I have to have pretzels in the house on the weekends. During the week, I'm okay, but the weekends, I need a snack. So Scott always picks me up a bag of pretzels, and um, I have them for the weekend. Today's wisdom quote. It does not matter how slowly you go, so long as you do not stop. By Confucius. Confucius. Today's word of the day. Word, word, word of the day. Word, 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 word of the day. And today's word is... Celerity. Celerity is a noun. Swiftness of movement. Swiftness of movement. Okay. I'm not writing things in the calendar. I'm behind, or in my planner, I should say. But yesterday, okay, th this is my new thing. And I already wrote it out for starting next month, but I started it yesterday. Instead of doing the three daily pieces every day, I'm only stitching on one a day, twice a week. So today I will be stitching on Rosie and tomorrow. Sunday of this week will be Astrology Cat, also Monday and Tuesday. Wednesdays and Thursdays is Wednesday is Boo with 250 stitches and then my stocking. Thursday is the stocking, and then if I go to the cross-stitch store at night, I take my mill hill. So, I, yesterday, that's all I stitched on was the stocking, and since I'm not switching back and forth, I think I can get more stitches done that way. So, yesterday, that's all I stitched on was the stocking, and I got in 725 stitches. 
which I think is pretty good because I usually do 200 on the Astrology Cat, 100 on Rosie, and 100 on the Stocking. That's 400. Sometimes that's all I can get to. This, I think, with not switching out the projects, I don't know. It, it seems to go faster. So also yesterday, I finished an audio book that was free on Audible if you have a subscription. I don't know if it's still free. It might be. But it's called No Tomorrow by Carrie and Cole. Four and a half stars. Loved the book. It took me a while to love the book. Um, you got two characters. You have Pipe. I know I'm going to screw up, right? Because I'm reading another book. Piper and Blue. I think it's Piper. Yeah. So, there's two narrators. One is Aiden Snow. You don't hardly ever hear him. It's always just the woman. Why they did it that way, I don't know. If there's a male, why is he not talking his part instead of her speaking the part? He only speaks the part when the chapter is in his name. I, I don't care for that. I wish that they'd let... The man talk when he's speaking to the woman. Why the woman that's narrating the book is the one changing her voice, I don't get that. And I don't know if it's like that in all the books, because I don't listen to too many audios like that, but yeah. Anyways, he is a musician. He plays a guitar. He has a great voice. And he plays in a park. He is homeless. He makes his money by the tips in his tip jar. And sometimes he helps a band in a local bar. So that's how he makes his money. But he's Poppy, Pipe, Piper goes to the park on a lunch break every day and she notices him. Come to find out he's been noticing her. But they get talking and a relationship ensues and... um. I don't know. I just, it took me a while to really like them because why is she going out with this guy? And I understand he's nice and everything, but he's homeless. He doesn't want any, he doesn't want anything in life. I broke my, I chipped a nail. Um, he doesn't want any responsibilities. They fall in love. He's her first. She's like 21. And um, it goes from there. So I was like, he he's a nice guy, he treats her well, but I see some instability with him, with his brain, and she's not seeing that, and she's fallen for him, and so I had a hard time with this relationship. I mean, you can't help who you fall in love with, that part I get, but... He's all against moving in with her. He likes being he likes being homeless. So then one day he just disappears and leaves his dog with her. And it takes a long while to get to that part cuz I'm like and it says she doesn't see him again until 14 years later. That's what the description says, but that's wrong. It's 4 years later. That she sees him again. It is very good. I did end up enjoying it. You know, I kept saying there's something wrong with him. He sounds like he's got schizophrenia or something. There's something wrong with him. So um, it is a good book for mental health. It's an awareness for mental health. It does have a little bit of smut in it, spicy scenes. But that's not what the whole book is about. I, I enjoyed it. And it's called No Tomorrow by Carrie and Cole. And I posted my review on Book Talk. And she actually commented. Thank you. So I, I love it when an author reaches out to you or makes a comment to let you know that they saw your review. So today, I got woke up. I went to bed at... 
between 9 and 9.30 last night. I was tired. I've, I've been dealing with this. It's this ear. Usually, like, if this ear hurts, the next day it'll be this ear. But it's staying with this ear. And, um, like I said, I've had a headache. And this is the kind that I usually get if I leave a hair clip in my hair too long or it's too tight or a ponytail's too tight. I haven't worn a hair clip at all this week, and I don't wear ponytails, so I don't know why it's hurting, but it is. Then I found I found a rash on my back with my hand, so Scott took a picture to show me. Danielle thinks that it's shingles. The thing is, I never had chicken pox, and I have the chicken pox vaccine. So I don't know if I can still get shingles. According to Google, I, it is contagious to me if I'm around someone that the blisters have popped. But I, the only place I have been was last week Thursday at the cross stitch store. I was stitching with women, and I am the oldest. I am the youngest one there, and not the oldest. I'm the youngest one there, besides probably the owner's daughter. And grocery shopping Tuesday. That's the only places I've been. I haven't seen my mom in a couple weeks. It's been like two weeks since I saw my mom. So I don't think it's from her or my dad. So I have no idea if I got shingles and if I got it from someone. Where I got it. Because that's the only two places I've been. That's what Scott said. Where have you been? So, I have no idea. But I'm enjoying my reading. I really want to finish the book I'm reading now. So, like I said, I got woke up at 1 o'clock from the dog to go out. I couldn't fall back to sleep, so I fixed me my last cup of chamomile tea, sat and pulled out my Kindle, and I started Darling Girls by Sally Hepworth. It came out on the 23rd. I have like two, an hour and a half to two hours left in the book. It is so good. Oh my gosh. It is, I, I think you would call it a psychological thriller. And it has to do with this woman who took in women, young girls. Um, she's a foster mom and she's really nice at first and then she turns nasty. So I don't know whatever happened to her, but now we keep going to the past, to the present. The present, the three women that were the main girls at the house are now adults. And the house has been taken down. They're putting in like an Arby's or a, I think a McDonald's. Anyways, they found a body. So they called these three women to ask them questions. And that's when we find out what happened to them as children. It is so good. And I really, really want to finish it. So the next one I want to read is The Summer We Started Over by Nancy Thayer. Because if you remember, I told you that Kindle changed. They did an update. I can no longer do text-to-speech on my docs that I get from NetGalley. They're only good on regular Kindle books. So right now what I am doing is I wait to see on the day that the book comes out if it's um, on Kindle Unlimited, then I can listen text-to-speech. Otherwise, i got to read it. So I only have three books that are ARCs for next month so far. I, I know I've requested books that are still floating out there. I haven't heard back from them. But so far, I only have three. I'm trying to keep it to no more than four. So, um, yeah. And I do, I do have five I still need to write reviews on for April. Yeah, I have three in May, seven in June. And I don't want to do that anymore. Five in July. So then I'm not starting to really request anymore because my list of physical books in my house is huge. Plus all the books that I want to get to that were recommended on TikTok. So, yeah. 
nothing else going on. Um, I paid bills today. I went to town, got my chamomile tea. I bought two boxes. Um, my zero sugar, Dr. Pepper, the two liters were on sale, two for five dollars. I got those, but they weren't cold, and I wanted a cold diet Dr. Pepper that's usually in the coolers. I could have gotten a diet Pepsi, but I don't know. I only really like diet Dr. Pepper. So I got that. What else did I get? I got me some cheese curds for a snack, and I ordered me a sub so that I had half for lunch and my half for dinner, and then I'm good for the rest of the weekend. Um, Justin should be over tomorrow. I'm doing a pork roast and potatoes. I got to get potatoes. I forgot that. And everybody told me about Down Dawn, not Down, Dawn Power Wash, that it really cuts the grease on your cabinets and that. So I ended up picking up a bottle of that as well. So when Tuesday comes around and it's time to clean the cabinets again, they said just spray the cabinets down, let it you know, soak into the cabinet and it'll wipe right off. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Today is my bedroom. I'm going to polish the furniture. I'm going to wash the bed sheets. I already vacuumed in there. So all I need to do is polish the furniture. I got the hiccups. Polish the furniture and wash the sheets. Um, and I got to write reviews. So I'll be doing that every hour on the half hour. Yeah. So what else? Nothing else going on. I'm going to stitch on Rosie when I'm done finishing Darling Girls. And there's more books that I, I got a ton of Audible books free when I was watching my TikTok video. So every time I watch a TikTok video, I go on Amazon. I have a list called TikTok books. So I go and I add those books to the list. But sometimes when I get to the list and I click on and I go to Amazon and put the book in, it says the audiobook is free with membership. So as long as they're free with membership, I'm adding them to my library. So I've added quite a few books to my library this week. So um, those are what I will listen to and text to speech while cross-stitching. But when I'm not stitching, I will read. And I try to read at night. And I haven't done that for the past couple nights. So I need to get back into reading at nighttime. So I have a lot of books. A lot. How is everybody else doing? Y'all having a good week this weekend. Like I said, Justin will be over tomorrow. Um, we watch TV together. And then Sunday is my Batavia book club that's on Facebook. We meet once a month in Batavia at a pizza place. So I'm going there Sunday. Hopefully I'm feeling better. Because I haven't made it yet to their meetings. Um, I did read the book, was The Secret Garden, no, The Butterfly Garden, The Butterfly Garden by Dot Hutchison. It was good. I really, really liked it, psychological thriller. Um, yes, I do like psychological thrillers, but I can't read one after another. I, they mess with my brain. So, um, yeah. So that's what's going on this weekend. Scott's working, of course. Nothing else. I was going to stop at Dunkin' Donuts this morning and get me an iced coffee, but I'm like, no, I'll just get me my Dr. Pepper and be good. So I'm going to go clean a little bit. What time is it? It's 13 after 1. So while this is uploading, I'm going to take the sheets off my bed, throw them in the wash machine, and um, that part will be done. And then I can go an hour later, and I'll polish the furniture. And then every hour after that, I'm going to come in and write a book review and get these book reviews done. I also need to check NetGalley for today. So... 
that is it for today. I hope that you have a great weekend, and I will see you all tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.